Hi, this is Faust. Today I'm gonna show you a free alternative to the Kickstart plugin. So, what is the Kickstart plugin? Um, it's a basic sidechain plugin. It's very, very intelligent actually. It's a sidechain plugin that uh, ducks the sound in a better way than a compressor would. So, we don't like to use a compressor to do a sidechain because when the kick hits, um, you want everything to be ducked in exactly the same manner every time it's simply gonna sound better and add more consistency to the to, to your sounds your track and to your sidechain so usually in the past what people would do is that they would like um, come to every single they would make a sidechain um, manually like this I mean to get things out of the way for the kick to hit, right? But then, um, with a tool like this, uh, let's let's hear, for example, um, with Kickstart, to do that um, automatically, right? Um, every every time the kick hits, so this is what it sounds like. We can even see here that we have a, a big knob. This controls the, the, the mix. And then um, we have a few presets. And if I put in a very uh, strong, uh, very aggressive preset, we're really gonna hear the pumping of the side chain. <laughs> right? Okay, so great stuff. Um, the only problem for now is that we have here a section where the kick doesn't hit actually and um, the sidechain is triggered anyway because we are on, th on this sync mode here um, which means that it's just gonna go every 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 for every every strike of the kick but not necessarily dependent on on the on the kick because here for example it's gonna trigger without the kick so we still hear it uh, ducking but sometimes you don't want that so kickstart has a second um, has three options but uh, the one we're gonna look at is the one shot option which actually accepts uh, MIDI data from in from the host that means that I can send uh, the data from the kick I can send the MIDI from the kick to activate it so let's do that um, in order to do that we, we actually we have to um, group the for example in this case I'm using sampler so you have to group into an instrument rack your, your, your MIDI and then duplicate the chain so it sends the same MIDI data duplicate the chain uh, and you add a, an external instrument. In this case, I'm going to send it to uh, Sidechain, which is our bus here, and uh, within Sidechain to, to kickstart. So now, um, in this case, because the, the Sidechain is so aggressive, we're not hearing it, but let's try with this configuration. Okay, so now when there was no kick, we we heard that the the track breathed here, right? We it, it like almost as if we turned off the the turn turn kick start off here. Okay. So sometimes this is what you want, um, and then when Ableton uh, 12 came out, I realized um, that there was this. Uh, device here called Shaper that was very similar because it, it, it had um, the, the loop function which goes um, you, you, you can set how much how often it, it, it triggers the one shot which is the equivalent of, of the the this kickstart option here and even manual which you can do manually and I thought whoa this is actually this is actually kickstart but like stock right ableton stock uh, version 
but it as it turns out the the trigger here you can you cannot I, I tried uh, multiple ways of sending uh, MIDI data to trigger this but uh, it just won't accept it, it, it won't re recognize it won't let you here it won't let you send the MIDI data to, to Shaper so basically I searched online and I found this uh, person that did a Max for Life uh, version of Shaper here which does allow for uh, in the input of the you can even choose it here it, it does allow for receiving MIDI so if we route it here it should sound exactly like uh, kickstars right so it, it has even it, it has multiple waveforms you can choose here um, you can like drag them manually snap uh, change the grid snap on or not or off shift click to delete your like the 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 points that you, you make here shift click and you delete them so let's hear how it sounds like uh with this with this device <laughs> Great. So as you can see, it, it ducks when the when the kick hits, and when it, the kick isn't there, it lets the track breathe. So this is exactly what we want. And as you, as you saw, uh, I just changed the the how how aggressive I wanted the side chain here. And yeah, that's it. The link is gonna be in the description of the video. It's very much a good alternative to Kickstart. And I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, that it was helpful sidechain like this is a perfect option uh, for your for your tracks i uh, hope this helps and uh yeah that's it bye